Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another match in Movie Melee. Today we got a teams match, a debut match with uh, the teams Back to Formula, which is Mark Menchaca and Jake Marangoni going up against Zardu Hasselfro, I think is how the, you pronounce that, uh, right. which is the new team of Albert Weird Harma and Sophie Planos. Hope I said that right. My apologies if I didn't. Uh, but yeah, it should be an interesting match. Joining me on the desk today is Adelaide Spence. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm actually really excited for today because we haven't, we haven't seen Jake properly uh, in Melee in like a, at least a year and a half, I think. Uh, and Sophie making her debut. There'll be like a lot of like mixed uh, possibilities going on today. Yeah, absolutely. It should be an interesting one. So let's jump right into the pre-match interviews, starting with Back to Formula, uh, Mark Menchaca and Jake Marangoni. So guys, you guys have obviously played in fandom, but this is your first time teaming up in Melee. So how are you feeling going into t today's match? Uh, I'm, I'm, I feel good. You know, we famously also played in Ontel, uh, rest in peace, good times. Uh, but we, I don't know, this is my first, my first official uh, Melee match in like a year and a half. Like the last time I played was a title match against Stallions, which feels like an eternity ago. Um, but I told Cody that the only way I'd come back is if I got to play with uh, with Mark. And the way we played in Game of Factions last year kind of gave me a little bit more of a uh, motivation to, to want to play in 2023. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. And we'll, we'll, we'll see how it, uh, how it plays out for the rest of the year. Yeah, um, I'm happy to be here too. I, I think uh, it's weird. I didn't think I'd have to do this, you know, with my former teammate, you know, also being on, in this call, but... You know, I I just I think yeah, I think this is going to be a good change. I think for both of us, and uh, you know, I've I've had some tough times in a the just the regular movie uh, melee war zone, so to speak. You know, I'm just hoping for a good match and hoping that you know we find our foot in here and we you know, we kind of uh, get going, kind of where we left off back in Ontel. And uh, good luck to you know. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good luck to our. Uh, I'm blanking on their names. This is this is a great start. Right, right, right after we broke up, Mark, you're already forgetting about everyone else around you. That's so yeah. hurtful. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to both of you, and we will bring in your opponents for this evening, uh, Sophie Planos and oh, Albert Weird Harma. Guys, this is your debut. Also, obviously, debut match. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Feeling, feeling good. Excited, excited about this one. Uh, back to Formula. Uh, never played them as a team, but uh, I'm familiar with them, so this should be fun. And me and Sophie, we've known each other for quite some time. We've never played in a team before in trivia, so oh, this yeah. should be fun. Uh, yeah, excited for this. Oh, yeah, I'm excited to team up with Albert. I've always played against him, but never with him. So I think we'll we'll we'll, we'll throw some surprises here and there. But I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having us. It's gonna be fun. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Well, good luck to you as well. And we will get started with round number one, which will work like this. It'll be like any other whiteboard round. Eight questions, eight different categories of movie trivia. 15 seconds to answer each question. You will have three repeats and one challenge to use for the entirety of the match. Any questions before we get started? No. All right. And uh, uh, Spence, by the way, it's columns, by the way. So, ah, shit. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I will get us started with your first question in round number one, which will come in the category of crime. Christian Slater, Dennis Hopper, and Christopher Walken all appear in what 90s crime film? So what do you prefer, columns or columns of flight and that lay down? Definitely columns. Yes. Yeah. Shout out Banshees of Inishair. Five, four, three, four from a world tour. two. One, pens down, pens down, Albert, Mark. All right, we'll go to Albert first. The Untouchables. And Mark. I said Dead Men Walking. And Soapy. I don't know, I said Heathers. <laughs> and Jake. You're so cool. True Romance. Oh my god. Oh, True Romance. We just cool. listened to that song too. <laughs> that piece is so Albert. good. Albert. Right. Your second question comes to the category of romantic comedies. What specific type of animal is baby in bringing up baby? Have you ever brought up baby? Uh, no, they scare me. Fair. I will say fun fact. I actually saw this in the theater a few years ago. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Pens down. We will go to Mark first. Leopard. And Sophie. I said frog. And Jake. No, I said cat. And Albert. I said goldfish. <laughs> Leopard is correct. So back to formula extends their lead by one there, and there are no per no perfect rounds. So your next question will come in the category of directors. Who directed Time Bandits? If you could direct a movie, mm -hmm. what would you call it? Shit show, probably. Would probably be the most accurate. Yeah. Not like saying it'd be shit like shit. It would just be a terrible movie. Another shit house. <laughs> yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will go to Sophie. I have nothing. And Jake? Terry Gilliam. And Albert? Terry Gilliam. And Mark? Terry Gilliam. Terry Gilliam is correct. What year? 85? 86. Oh, that makes sense. It's an 80s movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next question comes in recent releases. What 2022 comedy centers around an incident referred to as the airborne toxic event? It's just a fucking awesome band name. Like, yes. <laughs> it feels like the opener of like a corn show. Shout out corn. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Jake first. Some of them I think this director is, un is overrated. Uh, I put White Noise. It sucks. <laughs> and Albert? I didn't have that. And Mark? Yeah. And Sophie? I just put the bubble. White Noise is correct. Yeah. Your next question comes in the category of Oscars. What actress received two acting nominations for films released in 2019? What's the most amount of times you've ever been nominated in a year? God bless. Uh, seven. Nice. Yeah. I, I, every Antle video was a different documentary short nomination. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. And we will go to, I forgot where we started. Uh, Albert. Scarlett Johansson. And Mark. Said Meryl Street. And Sophie. I got one right. Scarlett Johansson. And Jake. Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson is correct. All right, girl. All right, next question coming to the category of horror movies. What is the first name of Robert Thorne's adopted son who was revealed to be the Antichrist in The Omen? Yeah. Still haven't seen this movie, surprisingly enough. I haven't either. I feel like I'd probably like it. I didn't ask you earlier. Uh, do you have you ever brought up a baby that turned out to be the Antichrist? Well, I guess I did because we've mentioned baby like twice in that question, so we did bring it up. Five. Baby. Four, three. Two. One. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Mark. Damien. And uh, Sophie. I put Chris. And Jake. It's all for you, Damien. And Albert? I know it's not what it'd be. I wrote Dennis. <laughs> Damien is correct. He's a menace, though, to be fair. <laughs> Dennis and Chris are both solid names for Antichrist. So, good job. Now, your next question will come in the category of actors and actresses. Jeff Goldblum appears in how many films in the Jurassic Park franchise? Do you know what the uh, original cast member was for uh, Damien and the Omen? Kunst. Uh Dennis Haysbert. So Albert was actually pretty close. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Actually, also, I just being a little demon Four, baby. Three, two, one. We just brought up baby again. Wow. <laughs> Sophie. I put five. And Jake. I am number four. And Albert. Four. And Mark. Four. Four is correct. I overshot it. <laughs> oh, good. And your final question comes to the category of the 2000s. 
what drug is Harry Goldfarb addicted to in Requiem for a Dream? Mm. You seen this? No. Yeah. I saw it on like 2 a.m. on a Tuesday. That was probably a really bad decision. <laughs> the way to start a day? Five. That was like 16. <laughs> Three, oh two, one. Pens down. We will go to Jake. Heroin. And Albert? I also have heroin. Oh. And Mark? Heroin. And Sophie? I put acid. Heroin is correct. It's so great when you're asked questions about movies you've never seen before. <laughs> I think all of those are actually pretty good movies, if it helps. Yeah, they, 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 I've, I've heard great things about all of them. Well, so, coming out of round number one, I have the score at 12 to 5. Is that what you have? Yes. All right. So then we will get into round number two, which will work like this. It is the wheel round. So each team will spin the wheel, which will decide what category that they will be answering questions in. Five questions, each worth two points apiece, unless you check down a multiple choice, in which it will be worth one point. And stealing is available in this round. So back to formula. You guys are in the lead. Would you like to spin first, or would you like to defer? Is Cody here? Is he not? No. <laughs> we'll go second. Yeah. That's probably easy. All right. And I forgot to mention, but your categories for this evening are football movies, sci-fi fantasy, MCU, recent releases, war, 2000s, classics, comic book, and, and comic book movies, sorry. All right, so okay. Zardu, this will be your first spin. All right, hope for something good. Land on football movies. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Nah. Spin again, right, So Yeah, I'll spin again. Okay, let's spin again. All right, so the category that you will be stuck with is? Oh, fuck is yes. MCU, MCU, MCU. That's the MCU. Yeah, we have to. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Spence, would you like to read them their questions in MCU? It will. Uh, Albert and Sophie, are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, your first question. The Water of Sight is a location in what MCU movie? That's shang -Chi. Uh, I thought that was the water in Age of Ultron that Thor goes into. Oh! Unless there's it. one in... No, 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 I think, I think you're right. Avengers Age of Ultron, okay. go for it. Or Avengers Age of Ultron, final answer. Correct for two points. Nice. Yeah. What is the name of Sam's droid in Captain America Civil War? It's... Droney? It's a, it's a Red Wing, right? Oh, Red Wing, yeah. <laughs> Does that sound right? Uh, it sounds right. It sounds better than Droney, so go for it. Red Wing, final answer. Correct for two points. Damn, I'm rusty in the MCU. <laughs> Valentina Allegra de Fontaine makes her first appearance in what MCU movie? Is it Black Widow? No. Uh, yeah, she appeared in the post credit of that. Yeah. Line. Do you want to go Black Widow or no? Yeah, go with that. Black Widow, final answer. Record two points. Nice. Mm -hmm. What element is poisoning Tony's blood in Iron Man 2? Palladium? Uh, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Palladium, final answer. Record two points. Nice. <laughs> My final question. What universe number is the universe where the possessed Wanda kills the Illuminati in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? Oh, I know the numbers. I don't remember the order. 616 is one of them. You want to go multiple? Yeah, let's go multiple choice here. I feel let's like we're going to go multiple. multiple choice. All right. Options are A, 616, B, 928, C, 838, or D, 813. It's either, it's not A, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's not. It's not A. You want to go? Can we hear the options? Options again? Oh, options again. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that options was a are, thing. Options are A six one six, B nine two eight, C eight three eight, or D eight one three. I don't know why D is calling to me. Eight one. I was also leaning. I was also leaning towards three. D. Let's let's go D final answer as in dog. 
All right, that is incorrect. Jake and Mark, the one-point steal. Options are A, 616, B, 928, C, 838, or D, 813. It's 838. <sighs> I knew okay. it started with an 8. 838, final answer. That is correct for the one-point steal. Sam, good film. All right, I'll so after that, I have you know to tied at 13 to 13. Is that what you got, Joe? Yes. Damn. All right. So then we will get into extra <clears throat> formulas then now. Yep. Honestly, uh, come to use here. I'll bring them in. Do you land on oh. opponent's choice? Sorry, never feet. mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. All right, would you like a reminder uh, of the categories? Uh, the yes, I, I don't know what, who's good at what. Albert, you've played with these guys. <laughs> well, we did not discuss this possibility beforehand, so I'm not sure. Um, Categories are uh, football movies, war, 2000s, sci-fi fantasy, recent releases, classics, and comic book movies. <laughs> we can't give them uh, their strengths, so we're no. not going to do that. <laughs> Wait, which ones were their strengths again? Uh, football and sci-fi fantasy. Sci-fi fantasy, okay. So we can give them either I'll classics... You think classics or I don't I know. I think classics or war. I don't know how good they are in classics. War is broad. So is classics. There's so many of them. <laughs> yeah. Um and there's only like there's not that many war movies, I'd say. There there are. There are. I just don't watch them, that's all. Maybe I've seen like four or five. <laughs> you wanna you wanna give them classics? I just we won't be good at stealing. <laughs> at least let's, I won't. War? Give them war? We will need an answer here. Sorry. Yeah. I'm leaning um, towards war. You're leaning towards war? Okay, we can give them war. Okay, let's give them war. Sure. I don't um, know if this will backfire or not. We'll see. So back to formula. I will be reading your questions yeah. in the category of war. Your first question. How specifically does Eddie, played by Norm Lewis, die in The Five Bloods? I believe it's an explosion. Okay. He said specifically, so... Yeah. That... I think that's specific enough, right? Well, he Five, covers himself on a grenade four, and explodes. Three. He covers himself on a, a grenade and explodes. Final answer. That is incorrect, so Zardu for the two-point steal. Um, I know someone stepped on a landmine and died. I don't know if that's a character. Go for it. I don't know. I have never seen this. Okay, uh, he steps on a landmine. Final answer. That is correct for the two points. Nice. Nice, Albert. Good one. Thank you. So your next question. In Brothers, Tommy Cahill did time in prison for committing what crime? Uh, I know this is a Chevy film, but I have not seen it. And this is John Mills' character. Um, uh, I want to say it's a robbery, but I'm not 100% sure. Five, four, Go for it. Do it. three, robbery, final mm -hmm. answer. That is correct for two points. Your next question. Who plays Karen Holmes, the woman who is having an affair with Warden in From Here to Eternity? <laughs> I haven't seen the movie. Is it, some, is it someone noteworthy in the movie? I, I believe so. Uh... Like, I have a guess. I'm not confident. Let's, no, multiple. Let's just go multiple. Multiple choice, please. All right. Your options are A, Jane Russell, B, Deborah Kerr, C, Ann Baxter, or D, Donna Reed. What do you think? I was thinking Deborah Kerr before. I Once they said that, that's what I was thinking. So right. you want to go to that? Yeah. Four. Deborah Kerr, final answer. That is correct for one point. Nice. So your penultimate question in this category. What war comedy features a scene where a character swallows a compass to prevent their captors from taking it? That sounds like something out of 1941, but like I couldn't tell you. Uh, that doesn't sound familiar. No. <laughs> Can I even screw up there, please? 16. Four, three. Multiple choice, please. Yeah. All right. Your options are A, 1941, B, MASH, C, Stripes, or D, Dr. Strangelove. Yeah, well, I know what it isn't. Um, I kind of want to just go 1941. 
that sounds fine. Like I, no, 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 no the rest of them didn't sound right. Yeah, 1941 final answer. That is correct for one. Point. I should have just gone for it. Fuck it. Also affirm now it is now 17 to 15 in your favor. Go. Yeah. yeah. So your final question in this category. What job does Matt Damon's character Andrew Ilario have in the military in Courage Under Fire? Do you need it, we can use repeat if you know it? Like is it I in, think, is it yeah. I think he's a medic. Four, three, Ever. two, medic, final oh. answer. That is correct for two points. So coming out of round number two, I have back to formula in the lead 19 to 15. Yes. All right. So then we will go into round number three, which will work like this. That is the pick your poison round. So the competitors will be able to pick their categories for their one, their two, their three, and their four point question. The one and the two are answered individually, while the three and the fours are answered as a team. And the categories that the teams can pick from tonight are animated, Mark Wahlberg, 2000, directors, musicals, music, Oscars, and Frank Capra. So we'll let them pick now, and we will be right back. All right, so the teams have picked their categories, and we will get started with uh, Zardu Hasselfro with their one-point question in directors, which will be asked to Sophie, which is... Who directed Mystic River? Uh, I'm blanking. Um, Five, four, three. Martin Scorsese. Final answer. I know that's wrong. <laughs> that is incorrect. We were looking for Clint Eastwood. Sorry. Freaking stupid Clint Eastwood. <laughs> All right, then, so that we will go over to Albert's two point question in 2000s. Should okay. On Oscars one. Which is Who plays the older Edward Bloom in Big Fish? Oh, um, Edward Bloom, Edward Bloom. Five, older one. Four, three. Albert Finney? That is correct for two points. Okay. Uh, so we'll stick with you guys, though, because you're still behind. So we will go to your three-point question at anim in animated. We can work is... together here? Yeah, you can confer on this one. Okay, yeah. cool. What is the name of the ship the humans are on in Wally? -E? Axiom, right? Yeah. Axiom, final answer. That is correct for three points. Nice. Let's go. That was easier than the Mystic River question. <laughs> All right, Mark, are you, are you ready for your to one in 2000? Yep. All right. What is the profession of Philip Seymour Hoffman's character in Doubt? He's a priest. Correct for one point. I hate these I'm never going directors again. <laughs> You're tied, but we're going to stick with. Uh, formula because you have less questions or questions. So, Jake, your two pointer in Oscars. Who is the last person to win Best Director? Jane Campion. Correct for two points and the lead. Fantastic film, fantastic right. lady. So then we will go back over to Zardu for their four point question in musicals. If they hit this, they will send it back to back to formula. If they miss it, then Back to Formula will win. So okay. your question in the category of musicals. What 40s musical features Gene Kelly dancing with a cartoon mouse? <laughs> so if you can get both hands on screen. Uh, 40s Gene Kelly musical. Uh, Is it a mouse on screen? Five. Well, these are repeats. Four, Why not? Yeah. Three. Repeat the question. All right, that is your first repeat. What 40s musical features Gene Kelly dancing with a cartoon mouse? I feel like I've seen a clip of this. I cannot even picture it. All I can think of is Singing in the Rain. That's definitely wrong. No, that's not it. I know. Uh, but I don't know any other 40s movies. Four, Just, who, who watches three, those? Two. Repeat the question. <laughs> 
All right, what is your second repeat? <laughs> what 40s musical features Gene Kelly dancing with a cartoon mouse? You have any guess? No, I don't. I really wanted a hairspray question. Oh, maybe it's the old hairspray. No, it's not the old hairspray. Five, uh, four, three. Clint Eastwood. <laughs> no. Final answer. <laughs> and your winners. Back to formula. We were looking for anchors away. Here's mm. a way. So, yeah. to have Great game for both teams, of... 20 to 22, solid score. We will start with the post match interviews with Zardu Hasselfro. Uh, guys, you may not have got the win today, but you honestly, you were going up against a super tough team. Like, obviously, Mark has proven to be a fantastic player, and Jake is also like he's played for titles in this league, and you pushed him pretty far. So, you may not have got the, the victory, but. You still played very solid. How are you feeling today? I I think for our first showing, I think we did pretty great. Uh, I think we made the right choice with the war, keep us in pace a little bit. They outsmarted us with their strategy in round three, taking animated. Uh, but I mean, who knows at that point? But yeah, I mean, I like I like our performance. I think we did great, and I'm glad uh, finally I get to team up in Sophie and, and <laughs> Multiplex. And I think yeah, I think we I think it was good. I, I thought my round one performance was atrocious. And I'm usually a very, very good round one player, at least in our TFO. But these were tough questions um, just because I haven't seen those movies before, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Round two, we we were lucky with MCU. That was fun. I love answering MCU questions, so that was good. And then, honestly, yeah, we I, we did better than I thought we would, so that's good. It was fun. Yeah. Good. They're, cool. they're really good competitors. They knew, like, every question, almost, even if they weren't sure. It's, that was impressive. Yeah, well, we'd definitely love to have you guys back again. So when you return, is there any team that you'd like to play? I don't know anyone. <laughs> uh, we're, we're open to any competition. All right. That's what I like to hear. All right. Well, thanks for coming out, guys. Great game today. Thanks for hosting. We'll bring in, yeah, no problem. We will bring in our winners for this evening. Uh, back to Formula and their manager, Cody Newberry. How are you guys feeling? Great. Um, overall, um, I'm glad I got Jake back in teams. Um, it took some convincing, but I think him and Mark just proven fandom that they're a really good team together. So I think, and his main strength is what he was known for his general movies. So to make him actually, you know, go for it, I think is a perfect combination. Um, and I think, um, Mark's just been trying to get his footing back in uh, movie, uh, um, movie melee oh i changed the name can't remember <laughs> um but movie melee for a while and i think it's just because in the past divisions like they couldn't he couldn't keep a team win happening or a single so i think with a team it could build up confidence in singles but they played really well and a good shout out to albert and sophie they for playing this team in round one to keep it as close as it was that's a really i agree with sophie like, who watches 40s musicals i mean like yeah when they said Gene Kelly in a mouse, I said, I'm out. Like, this is not going to happen. So, you know, he said it. He was like, anchors away. And everybody's like, we're all supposed to be like, oh, no one was like that. No one had a clue. Uh, Boatman probably loved it when he was a child. I don't know. But overall, it was, I think it was a great performance. Uh, and I think we got opponent's choice. And we didn't even get what we wanted in round two. And we still had a really strong game. So I'm excited for the next match. It's just, yeah, a little bit of it is just like the luck of round two. And I knew when I had a feeling like something like this would have, would have happened. Um, and luckily, I think War was probably the, for us at least, like the better category to get. Um, I'll take the L on the uh, the Defy Bloods uh, question. I just um, was thinking of the wrong character. Um, probably should have gone multiple, would have not given two points away. But um, outside of that, I feel like really good about this. Um, I, there were questions that Mark was, you know, on the fence of, and I just said, you know, at this point, just go for it because if you feel like that's the answer, like just go. For it. At this point, I felt really good with Mark on this, and and I can't wait to see how it goes next next match. And uh, who knows? We, I feel like we've got only one way to go, and that's up. And after this, it feels really good to to get back into the saddle, so to speak. Well, speaking of the next match, we'll probably have you back very soon against another one and O teams. I know you, I don't know if y'all have been paying attention as closely to the uh, uh, rookie teams, but you pro Mark probably has. He's a writer. But uh, I'm saying, I don't think a team's match has been released, right? 
Am I crazy in that? By the time this is released, they will, but a few of us know exactly what it is. I think where this is going to end up at one point down the season, I think two of the rookie teams will collide at one point. It will be this team, or it could be Jeremy and Dylan. It could be a few of our teams in the Phoenix Club, but I believe the geriatric old men will take on a member of the Phoenix Club, and it will see if their water bottles uh, can take the stress of playing us in a match. He title hunted, he kicked Redshaw to the curb, and he got the guy out of the retirement home to go and eat pudding at 4 o'clock together. I want Boatman and Jeremy at some point this season. That's all I will say. We'll just play whoever's 1-9 and nine next. That's, I'm <laughs> all right. Well, I like the call out. Uh, guys, congrats. Thanks for coming out. And we will put you backstage for now. And we will close this thing out. Uh, yeah, solid ma- solid match. Uh yeah, I, I mean, the uh, round one was uh, looking like it was going one way, and then Zardi made it a very close match in the in the second round and took him pretty far into round number three as well. Uh, how do you feel about how the how the match went, Spence? I exactly agree. Uh, yeah, Excellent. I was I was like, if 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 Zardi can keep up with the round two game, I think all teams should be scared of them going forward. Even at own one, I haven't seen many teams navigate round two as well as they have. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, from me from Spence, from everyone else here. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I don't have the clip in front of me. Hopefully someone plays it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Uh, ah. Goodbye. Storm in the castle. Think it'll work? Goodbye.